Welcome back, Blade Gang. And what do we have here? This is not a knife you normally see on my channel. I don't go for that wild handle stuff, texture, crazy colors, but yet, here it is. And I suppose I was impressed by this because I previously bought this knife in kind of a bright blue backspacer and I um, forget what the other color was but you can see the review out there this is the Max Ace Kestrel named after a bird of prey and it is an interesting knife the way they did it this time for about 170 bucks or so on White Mountain you get M390, although they fail to mark it as near as I can tell, but that's okay. If they say it's M390, I believe them. Max Ace has been a good company to uh, deal with and uh, has produced some many fine blades. Look at that really cool reverse curve with that forward belly and that swedge. Really a nice job. Nice brush satin finish on this one. Branded with Max Ace and the name of the knife. Let's talk about the handle for a moment. This is a Swirl G10 carbon fiber mix I believe or maybe all G10 with a swirl of colors. Now it goes all the way through and the first time I saw this particular kind of material was on petrified fish knives on the Warrior. Not this color, but same material, same principle and concept. We've got a light blue, a white, a black, and a red at least going on in there. Kind of a matrix of G10 colors. And then, they don't leave you off there. You get a tiger stripe titanium. It's not even what we would call a backspacer. It's the entire back top of the handle of the knife that is titanium. And it's all kind of screwed in place. Very interesting construction. It is a front flipper with a very long and pronounced platform there to flip with. So even for me, and I tend to dislike front flippers, or at least not cotton to them, <laughs> shall we say, uh, it opens fairly easily. But let's take another look at the the Swirl Composite G10. Look at that. It goes all the way through inside. And so it's on both sides of the knife. It is a frame lock construction. Although, I'm not seeing a hardened steel insert. Let me take another look. I'm only seeing a detent ball. That's interesting. But, no problems with the lockup. Now, what they do sometimes when they don't put the hardened steel insert in is uh, do a hardening process on the very end of the uh, lock bar. Now, that engagement, and I didn't snap it open with authority. That engagement is about 20%, I would say. So, room to wear, room to break in. That probably shouldn't get loose over its lifetime, even if that bar walks over just a little bit. Really nice um, gray, and these are steel. Yep. Pivot. Most pivots are steel. The uh, the tiger stripe on the anodizing on the, the titanium top there uh, reminds me of the uh, tiger stripe uh, that Best Tech does on some of the Todd knife and tool knives. And I really like it. I've got a, uh, I've got one or two that are like that. A very pronounced added on a lanyard slot that is its own looks like its own separate piece 
And look, we've got that material, that G10 material going all the way to the back. It's just a really cool construction with a really uh, nice modern sort of clip with a really long ramp. Uh, seemed to go in and out of the pocket in the few times I tested it pretty well. But I do love the blade and we're going to get into some measurements as I like to do. Overall length of the knife, which is not small, and we're going to take it right out to that butt end of the uh, of that lanyard slot is eight and a half inches. The blade is three and three quarter inches to the handle, and oh yes, cutting edge is slightly less, but in that vicinity. blade or handle stock in inches just over half 0 0.51 blade stock pretty hefty 0.14 inches and translating that to millimeters 3.8 millimeters pretty good how about the weight on this puppy what have we got how about under four ounces? I guess all that uh, G10 handle material and titanium pays off. 3.95 ounces. So there you have the vital statistics of this Max Ace Kestrel. They make a Max Ace Heron. And uh, I think they might have one or two other blades named after raptor birds. Nice grinds. Pretty even on both sides. Looking straight down the spine. Nicely ground. Good thickness out to the tip. And should be a very slicey blade. Got some micro serrations going on there. It's not your everyday polished edge. And that I like means it can be used right out of the box. Good size knife, eight and a half inches. Got about an inch left over from my hand. And the jimping is that nice file-like jimping that I like that I see on a lot of Bastinelli knives and certainly uh, on some of the Max Ace knives. How about some comparisons? Well, here's the Max Ace Samurai. This is in a K110. And they're right about the same size knife. Both large knives. Both the same size blade. A little taller blade here and more of the Japanese inspired um, original Tanto blade. That's what I like to call it, the traditional Chinese, uh, tra traditional, <laughs> thinking of traditional Chinese medicine, right? The traditional Japanese blade, short blade, we refer to as Tanto, but goes by many other names. If you want to run down, a complete rundown of all the different blade names, um, refer to James Williams. He is the expert. But that's the Samurai. And another one that's a real deal is the Max Ace Balance M. They made this in the Balance K for about 55 bucks out of K110, but then they upped the game to M390 with this one. And notice this one is labeled M390, which is interesting. And uh, the Kestrel is still available out at White Mountain as of this date that this video drops. Uh, this is a great deal for, I think, about 120, 125, somewhere in there. Um, less your 10% discount. Old sword. Don't forget to use that. So this is a highly recommended knife. Good working blade and it's going to be right in there too. Look at that. I mean this whole this whole group of knives by Amaxace is the same size, are the same size. Well, how about a blade that sort of 
looks the same but isn't. This is the Tucson designed by Wong. This is the 336 and I think I only brought it out because it is another recurve knife about the same size but it's this hybrid uh, chisel ground, flat ground, hollow ground on this one. Still an interesting knife and I have a review out on that one. Check the channel. So light knife, large knife, beautiful recurve blade, and a wild handle. This comes in a couple other handle types including like a straight up carbon fiber and on the, the slightly lesser models they're using aluminum for this top half. But this is the Max Ace Kestrel M390. Oh, 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 one more comparison. What do you think? Before we wrap it up. Oh, he's got to put the Griptilian in there. And it is coming up about three quarters of an inch shorter overall. And it is an axis lock. So interesting bar lock here, frame lock on this knife, the Kestrel, without a hardened steel insert. And uh, you're probably saving a few bucks by doing that, but I gotta say the action is great. Ergos are great. And if you're looking for an interesting and colorful knife with lots of cool materials at a reasonable price, this might be the one. So, don't forget to give this video a like and subscribe. We'll be back with you soon. Still got lots of new stuff to show you. Be well.